Hey, what's up, guys? Got a, uh, I'm actually going to shoot this with a new camera I got my wife for Christmas, uh, digital SLR, so not certain how it's going to show up or if the sound's going to be good but or how it's going to focus, but we're going to give it a shot. I just want to do something different. Anyway, um, got in some new things today. They are knife-related, but they're not knives. I posted some of this on Instagram so you guys could see. Um... But anyway, I'll take a look. I got the uh, Pelican case to hold my knives. My wife's been complaining because I got a young baby that that is two that loves my knives. And uh, I keep them in here on my pool table. And she's like, you need to get something to get them out of the way so that <clears throat> they won't, somebody won't get hurt by it. So anyway, so here's the, uh, it's the 1450. Yeah, Pelican 1450. Really really cool case um i've been wanting to get one of these for a while and just haven't taken the plunge so uh, as you guys can see I, I know there's a lot of videos on this stuff and it's the what's called the pick and pluck foam where uh it's separated but it's still kind of stuck together so what i was going to show you guys is there's not a lot of how to take the foam out and some as you look back on some of the other videos of people with knife cases um, a lot of it is doesn't look that great. Um, where they've taken it, and I'm going to try to focus in. There you go. And what they've done, they, they've taken it and they've kind of just shredded these out and not really paid attention. And I like it to look a little bit neater. But anyway, um, so what we'll do is I, what I, I started from the edge. So I left a, you know about two spaces from the edge. And there's one solid piece that goes around. So this side's a little bit, has an extra spot here so it's a little close to the edge on this side but you get the point so what you do is you find the space that you want to take the foam out so I'll, I'll take out the quay back so that's what that's what the hole looks like so I want to keep it in line so what I'll do is I, I'm using three of these there's, there's one two and then three so what I do is I tear it away from the edge here tear it away from the edge here reach down in separate them and then pull it out and you've got a it's three different pieces here I'm not certain how, how this shows up. Doesn't. So that's why I say this might not work. There we go. So anyway, this is uh it's three different pieces. You can tell see how they're they're shredded sideways. So you can do two, you can do one, depending on what you want to put in there. Some people put pens in, all kinds of other stuff. So um but a pretty cool thing. So I have a pile of that crap now. So you uh you cut it the way you want, you put the knife in there, good to go. So I'll put the dowel bore um, in there as well, and it sits down pretty low. So it'll shut, like some of the knives are a little bit higher than others, but uh, so it'll still shut because it's got the foam in the lid as well. It'll still shut, but it makes it a little bit more difficult, so you kind of got to press those in a little bit more. So anyway, I've got some other knives to put in here, but I'm not going to mess with them right now. Just wanted to show you guys the case. It's really, really cool. It allows you to get in here, and you know you can see your knives all at one time. I usually keep them in the cases. So I've got like a, you know, I've got a crap load of cases for all these knives. So when I come in and, you know, in the morning before work and I'm like, I don't know what the heck I'm going to take today. I got to open up like 50 cases to try to figure out what the heck I want to take to work. Um, so anyway, this makes it a little bit easier so I can just open up the case all at once or if I want to take them somewhere, um, uh, makes it easier for me to do that as well. So, uh, carry this today. Um, the bodega. I don't know how well that's showing up, but uh, I mean, it's just so smooth. So anyway, I'm going to use this and get this out of the way. We'll come back to that at some other point, which gets heavy when you get all these customs in there. Yeah, they are freaking heavy. The other thing I got in today was this, um, a package I'm getting ready to open here from a company called Stropman. Um, some of you guys have probably heard of that. A lot of you guys, I think, already have these. But it's my first uh, strop. So all these knives I have, I've never stropped a single one of them. You know, I don't use them. I don't really cut a whole bunch either. So it's not like it. my knives get super dull. But, you know, I, I like a sharp knife if I'm cutting open a, a box or a letter or whatever it is that I'm using. I'm not very abusive with, with them anyway. So uh, this just came in today, but I ordered this, you know, a few to, probably about a week or so ago, and he makes these to order. Sorry, I know nothing's in the frame, so you're kind of listening to me. But uh, 
Let's see, let's check this out. So it comes in this big, massive, like cardboardish circle thing. Tube, I guess that's what you call it. Be good to store something in that later. So let's see. Paperwork in here, some other stuff in here. I think that's it. So here's what we got. We've got a strop man, and I'll try to focus in on this with this camera and hope that it works. And it doesn't. Come on, baby. This is very difficult to do. All right. I need a better lens. This is a 18 to 22 lens. Anyway, Stropman. Um, I think the guy's name's Robert. Yeah, Robert Barber. So that's his, his information there. If you guys want to pause it, if it's even in focus, pause it and come back and check that out. Um, really nice guy. Makes these like to order. So anyway, I thought I'd show you that. And we'll just try to keep this focused down here. And I'm going to go back to my other camera because this sucks. Anyway, you got your name on it. Thanks for the order. Um, this was, uh, I think, like, I don't know if it was 80 bucks or something like that. Which, you know, you can get straps for cheaper, but when I looked this up, I saw somebody had one similar to this. And I looked it up and it just looked badass, so I always like to try to get the best of what's out there. So it comes with these... Um, um, I don't even know what you call these um, compounds, I guess. And he puts four compounds in there because this is a four-sided strop. So what you've got is you've got three uh, of the actual um, the skin part, and you've got one on the hide part. So this is really, really slick. So it, um, And it is massive. I mean, this is a big freaking... Come on, focus for me. Let me pull this back. There you go. So let me let me pull this back in. I apologize, guys. This is a pain in the ass. So, anyway, it's a... Um, hopefully you can see the, the leather. This is like the suede part of leather. And it's on three different sides. And then this is the hide side on one, which is would be the finishing part. So they're all numbered for you. So when you put your compounds on there, you know where you're starting, where you're going, that sort of thing. Um, and I thought on this one... And I guess he doesn't do it, but I thought... You know, he always labels them... And the number, this is number 97, so that's the 97th one that he's ever done. It's called the Big Boy. But really cool, uh, really cool looking strop. Um, like I say, I've never strop before, really not sure what the hell I'm doing. But I'll put some compounds in here, and then this will be the finishing strop. Uh, but this thing's pretty, it's pretty long. I think it's, actually let's find out what it is. It's a pretty good size, I know that. Um, it's 12 inches of, uh, of actual leather on each side and by two and a half wide. Um, but really well made. I mean, this is a solid block. I think it might actually be hollowed out so it's a little bit lighter. But um, finishes up to every edge so you'll have all kinds of different uh, strop uh, compounds on each one. So you'll put one on two, one on three, one on four, and then if you wanted a, a compound on five, and all the instructions are in the the thing here so anyway just thought you guys might want to check that out um it's my first drop i'll maybe do a like some type of sharp cut test or something like that once i've stropped and know what the hell i'm doing so um let me try to zoom in maybe you guys can see that there all right guys thanks for checking it out thanks for dealing with my first try with this first and only try with this camera so uh i'll upload this and and go back to my old stuff. All right, guys, take care. Talk with you soon.